Yes, that day is finally here. We've got some Rugby 24 news, an official release date, some information on the leagues included. Finally, it has happened. Hello, rugby fans, and welcome back to the channel. The day is finally here. We've got an official announcement from the Rugby 24 social media pages on behalf of Nakon and Big Ant Studios. So without further ado, what is this news? There is a statement here that I will read out to you. So dear rugby fans, ever since we began developing the game Rugby 24, our goal has been to create the best simulation and most complete game possible. The team has been working hard to adjust the gameplay, represent the sport as accurately as possible and integrate all the officially licensed teams which include over 130 countries and 15 leagues. With this massive expansion in content, the development of the game has taken more time than we originally planned and we have also had difficulty gaining access to some of the top team's players to capture 3D photos prior to the Rugby World Cup. As we want to bring the most authentic and complete rugby game to date, we have taken the difficult decision to push back the Rugby 24 release date to the 30th of January 2024 on the eve of the Six Nations Tournament. This extra time will also aid development and allow us to further enhance gameplay. While it is truly heartbreaking to miss the Rugby World Cup, we are convinced that this is the right decision, one that will enable you to experience your passion in a great game. Thank you for your understanding, patience and support. See you soon with more information about Rugby 24, the Rugby 24 team. Wow, so there we go. Key pieces of information there. Of course, the release date to start with, 30th of January 2024. So that's what... Uh, we're looking at four or five months away, so uh, a decent bit of time, unfortunately, which is always bad news, but the main thing is that the game is not complete. Giving us those extra months means we'll get a more complete game. The gameplay will be tighter, it'll be smoother. They'll have more opportunity to introduce these new 15 leagues, proper player photos, 3D pictures that they're trying to get. Of course, very, very disappointing that they've got the Rugby World Cup license. And they're going to miss that. I presume the mode will still be in the game. Of course, it will be slightly disappointing and we probably won't get as many people playing it as they would if they released it September, October. The World Cup will be finished. It'll be two or three months down the line. So um, although people will still be talking on it and reminiscing, I imagine it won't have the same hype and the same buzz as it would if it was released shortly. Uh, so that's disappointing, but not masses of time. Certainly starting 2024 with a bang. Of course, on the previous press release, they noticed that there was 130 nations. This has been renamed to 130 countries. So, of course, that includes all of the big countries in the world, as well as some lesser um, tiered nations like your Puerto Ricos and things like that. Some big, big, big news is that it includes 15 leagues. So we knew about the URC. Top 14, Pro D2, that's only three. I mean, does the Rugby World Cup class as a league? It's not really a league, it's a cup competition. But even if you throw that in there, that's only four leagues that we know about so far. So fingers crossed, Super Rugby, the Premiership, um, Major League Rugby, the Japanese leagues, perhaps even some lower tier leagues. How fantastic would be it to be to get the Premiership and the Championship underneath? That would be incredible. Of course, we've also, if we are talking cup competitions, you could get the Champions Cup, the Challenge Cup, all sorts. The fact that they have worded it, that the release date is on the eve of the Six Nations tournament, to me, significantly hints at the fact that the Six Nations may be licensed. Why would you pick that date out? Uh, from all of the dates and specifically mention the Six Nations tournament if it wasn't going to be officially in the game. So I think we're heavily hinting at that. And then with that, does that mean the Rugby Championship as well with your Australia's, the All Blacks, uh, Argentina? Does that mean they're going to be officially licensed? 15 leagues is a massive, massive number. 
really is. We've already got the three official ones announced. Add the Super Rugby, add the Premiership. There's your main leagues in the world of rugby anyway, so if you can get that in, that's fantastic. Are we going to get in-depth? Are we going to have the leagues just underneath it as well? Would be incredible. But there we go. Official news, finally, from the Rugby 24 team. Really do appreciate that they finally got some news out for us. Uh, would like to have heard something a bit sooner, but hey-ho, there we go. New official release date of the 30th of January 2024. So get on the phone to your bosses, book some time off. The Six Nations is coming and Rugby 24 is coming with it. Please do drop a like if you've enjoyed today's video. Leave a comment down below. Give me your thoughts on this new news we've received today. Are you happy with the release date? What do you think is going to be included in these 15 leagues? Let me know in the comments down below. And of course, if you haven't already, please do move that subscribe button. I've been the Bears Gamer, and I'll see you in the Virtual Scrum.